Hi guys, Dark Aperture here, and I'm back with a $750 all AMD game PC build. If you notice, there's no easy vid intro, that's because I'm using Bandicam right now. It's a free version, so I only have 10 minutes of recording, but I thought this would make it a, make it a lot more professional because there wouldn't be any stupid music. Don't, okay, so that's all that out of the way. Let's just get to the purchase. This is still as usual. And we'll, then we'll have the actual bill. So here's the part this this Marvel edit. It's revolutionary. Oh God! And then we'll move on. Oh, by the way, this is also a hundred fifty dollar game PC bill. If you if you include the Western year builds, I personally don't. It's not it's not all about getting extra views because it seems more affordable. But it's mo But you might be installing Linux. You may already have an install disk. It just isn't, may not be the case. No pun intended. Okay, so enough of that. Move on to the processor. For a processor, we'll be going with the AMD FX6350. Now, right now, on Newegg, the FX6350 and 6300 are both the same price. And since we're using a 760G motherboard, we won't be able to get any real overclocking. So the fact that this is just an overclock 6300 actually makes it worth it this time. It's also a pretty fast 6 core for the price. It's not going to be as fast as the 6 core I send extreme, but that's to be expected, really. It's not, the, it consumes a lot more power than the i3, but it does have some more raw power than the i3, and will give you some good, re excellent rendering for the price. And it's time for dollars I see that's a good deal. And for the RAM, Corsair Vengeance 8 gigs of DDR3 1600. I don't even need to say it again this time. You already know what I'm going to say because I sound like a broken record. It's fast, it's reliable, it has a great heat sink. And, uh, and course it, it helps that Corsair is a really well known company in the PC business. And it's only $60, so it's a pretty good RAM for the price. And for the motherboard, we'll be using a Gigabyte board. I already said 760G. But the reason we're using this version, this certain Gigabyte board, is because well first it has USB free and second it comes with dual BIOS which is standard in all gigabyte boards that means if you have a BIOS update when trying to upgrade to the newest same free plus CPU for example the FX 6500 which I expect w will be the steamroller version of the FX 6300 mm. So let's say you update that BIOS, Gigabyte really marked up the BIOS, and I forgot to tell you, that BIOS would be, with any other motherboard from other companies, that means your board's completely screwed, plain and simple. But with get, with this Gigabyte board, it'll automatically revert to the working BIOS, which is your second BIOS, which means your computer will still work if it mucks up. And it should tell you if it mucks up too. Okay. And it's considering the fact that it's seventy dollars and very good quality, I'd say it's a good deal. And for the graphics card now, the most important part of the gaming build will be only for Sapphire Ranch seventy eight seventy gigahertz edition. It's a two gigabyte card. The six sixteen about the same price range is pummeled by this card quite pretty badly. It does consume more power, but that's not really a big deal. It also helps that the cooler on this card is pr pretty nice, should be silent. And it's only two hundred fifty dollars as well, so pick this card up. I could go over six sixty from a series, which I have, because it's a really quiet card, but this is only MD build, so no I can't do that. Okay, now for the hard drive. For the hard drive we'll be going for Western Digital Caviar Blue Fairfront Gigabyte seventy two RP seventy two hundred RPM hard drive. Now this is pretty much a standard and budget builds and for and it's for a very good reason because it's reliable. It's very fast for the price in terms of hard drives. And it's got plenty of capacity for your games. And considering that sixty dollars, it's a pretty good deal. And now we'll be using SSD as I've started to use in my six hundred dollar and up builds. Instead of just my instead of just like a thousand and up builds. And for SSD it'll be the SanDisk ready cache thirty two gig SSD. Now this is a caching SSD, so it boosts performance, but never really stores anything. 
it just like adds on to your hard drive speed. And since it comes with built-in software, you won't have to worry that the 760G chipset doesn't have built-in smart caching like Intel H77 boards do. Because if you just plug the thing in and it'll install the software and it'll do the in the SanDisk SSD will do the rest. And considering it's only fifty dollars and it's four and eight megabytes bytes down, oh, I mean read and higher ten megabytes write, that's a pretty good deal for fifty bucks. Alright. Now for the power supply. For the power supply we'll be using a Corso CX five hundred. It's a five hundred watt power supply, it's eighty plus efficient and has enough power for this build. Cause really guys, the power it just relies on a minimum place, but it should still be enough to run. If it doesn't, spend ten dollars more and get a CX six hundred. No big deal. You can always do it. It's a custom build. You're not conformed to my guidelines. And it's also fifty bucks, so I'd say it's a pretty good deal for such a good power supply. And for the optical drive, it's just twenty four X blah 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 good enough blah 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 twenty dollars blah blah blah. Okay. Now for the case. This is the first time I've used this case, the N60 Source 210 Elite. I had some budget room left, so I thought I'd go with this case. It's got plenty of room for this build. It's got some very good build quality, and it even comes with a USB free port, which is pretty good for such a low price case. It's $50 too, which I'd say makes it worth it in itself. I know why a $630 build had like a window case, but seriously, you don't really care about those in a build of this price range. And now the grand total is seven fifty bucks. Well actually seven forty seven bucks so you have three dollars to spare. So not so that means when you're done you can just go over to go over to some random corner store, pick up pick up that soda and drink that soda to celebrate they have a you build a game PC that can max games. Then actually use a computer, which uh, you should do. If you're not, go if you're just gonna build a game PC and just go on the internet and say, "Hey guys, my computer is i5 99999 processor, and my graphics card is two GTX 690s," that's amazing. And then someone goes, "Okay, what games do you play in it?" Wait, there are games for it? No. If you're gonna do that, you might as well go for the console, cause. You really had no, no business doing it, building a PC if you're not going to game on it. So yeah, that's all. Subscribe to me, Dark Aperture, if you enjoyed. And goodbye. Like, too. That'd be nice of you. But you don't have to. You can dislike if you make this build is awful. If you want if you want to drain the very morality that is left in this build. Okay, I'm just being an idiot now. Bye.